Louise and I are the uh, fourth generation here on the uh, farm. My uh, great grandparents were the ones that homesteaded here in Lane County back in 1886. We sell certified seed. We run triticale virtually all over the uh, United States. We have a lot of 5, 10, 20 acre uh, playa lakes, or as we call them, ponds or lagoons, uh, on up to probably the, the biggest one on the farm has got 130 acres. Without a doubt, I think we're better off in uh, not farming these playa lakes because you have a very high incidence of uh, crop failure. Either it's too dry to get your crop up, or once you do get it up, it floods out. But beyond that, I think uh, they have a lot of advantage in terms of uh, providing uh, aesthetic breaks and uh, diversity. If all we had were Harney silt loam soils, which, uh, you know, that is the state soil of Kansas, it's a perfectly flat, deep, highly fertile soil, we'd be better off financially. But I think our quality of life would suffer because we wouldn't have the diversity of uh, all these ply lakes and the aesthetic and social benefits. It's really kind of a lot of fun when you do have, you know, these big rainfall events or real wet periods of time and the uh, playas are full. But within 12 hours, you will have ducks there. You can literally go from dust to ducks overnight. Some of the bird species we have seen uh, are, you know, herons, uh, egrets, uh, American avocets. We did have a trumpet swan one time, uh, and it was the only sighting out here. Then we've also had grassland birds. People don't realize that while there's hunting out in our area, really a major pastime in the state of Kansas is birding. Uh, that means going out and looking for birds and identifying birds. And it's really a treat to do that. In future generations, want to be able to see what we are seeing and to appreciate and live what we appreciate. Uh, we think it's uh, ideal to have healthy, functioning, Playas for a number of reasons. You know, these playa lakes do contribute to uh, Ogallala recharge, and especially around some of these communities, they're wondering, like, where are we going to get water 100 years from now? And yeah, these things could uh, seriously play a uh, role in solving that problem. We've got a uh, playa lake just uh, outside of uh, Dighton, Kansas. I think there's about 40 acres over there that's going to go into. Uh, CP38B, and you know, that could help recharge the uh, Ogallala. The uh, University of Kansas and the uh, Kansas Geological Survey has started a major long-term study here on our farm to document, you know, the uh, recharge uh, that these uh, playa lakes contribute to the uh, Ogallala. Some of the uh, preliminary indications from that work are, yes, it really does work. So uh, we're glad to be able to make a uh, contribution in that direction.